All right, everyone, and welcome to Planescape Torment. This is, um, I wouldn't say it's the best game I've ever played. It's probably one of those one of those games that probably had the most impact on me, I think. But before we do this, let's go back. Because I have got to fracking... Lower the fracking sound. Anyway. Oh, that's done with. Anyway, so I should probably get... To, I'm going to eventually get into what we're going to be doing here. But, um... First things first. There's some things we have to do. Namely... I need... S uh... I could just put them all at 16. That would probably go good. Anyway, uh, strength. I should, probably, I should probably say this before I do, before I do this. Um, this is based off the old D&D &D, second edition rules. So you actually have Fatco. You can't even know. It, I should probably explain what this game is. This is Planescape. It's is, um, done in the Planescape setting of uh, AD&D version 2. We actually get rid of Morge is because he is not a mage. That's what this that's what this playthrough is going to be. A mage play, a mage playthrough. So, um, I should probably, say something else here too, um, change it auto pause too. Now I see I'm not actually worried about taking too much damage because the nameless one literally regenerates as he goes along. Uh, so I'm not really worried about that too much. But yeah, whenever you first start the game, it doesn't really matter what kind of playthrough you're doing. Always kill these first three zombies in this room. However, don't kill any of the of the other uh, any of the other zombies after you get out of here, like at all. my journal. 
Yeah, it might, might be too far away for that one. But yeah, anyway, um, what I'm doing is I'm leaving him more to here. It's not really this, just like you don't, we're not taking him with us on this one. There it is. But yeah, once you get out of the, that first room, don't kill any any of the zombies. You can because you can come back here. All right, this one we need to read. The Mortuary Log Book. So yeah, I don't know if anyone wants wants to hear me actually read this stuff. Um, it's one of those things where it's just kind of like yeah. So if you actually want to read this stuff, you can. But it gives you an idea what's going on. Updated my journal. All right, have we, did we do this one already? Alright, so here's another thing I'm going to recommend for anyone who does this. Updated my journal. You see someone who has a uh, who has a name. Uh, if you see Updated someone who actually has a name, and I don't understand why you are not working. Oh, there you are. Let me see with someone with a name, save. Doesn't matter. You will not get, if you mess up for any reason a conversation the first time, you will not get a second chance to actually fix it. Even though you have the same conversation over and over again, you will not be able to change that conversation from what you had the first time. And there's probably a reason for that. That's probably a gameplay reason. But any time you see name character, save. Doesn't matter if you once you see him save. Anyway, this scribe looks very old. His skin is wrinkled and he has a slight trace of yellow, like old parchment. Charcoal gray eyes lie within an angular face, and a large white beard flows down in front of his robes like a waterfall. His breathing is ragged and irregular, but even his occasional coughing does not show, slow the, the scratching of his quill pen. Greetings, I say. The scribe stops scratching in the book before him, then looks up. His eyes are like two nails driven into his skull. So, he sounds tired, as if, he, as if he has repeated the same thing many times before. You have awoken from your sleep and have returned to your dream. Well met again, restless one. Do you know me? Know you, I? I have never known you, restless one. No more than have been you have known yourself. For you have forgotten, have you not? Who are you? As always, the question, and the wrong question, as always. He bows slightly, but the movement suddenly skins him into a bout of coughing. I. I am Dahl. Perhaps you can answer some questions for me, Dahl. Um, he is actually a pretty cool character. I'm not going to lie. I, uh, this is one of those games I should probably point out that uh, 
they only have like certain voice lines dialogued. They only pay the voice actors for so many lines, so there's only so many voice lines in this thing. So the voice acting is really, really good, but like I said, it's like 800,000 words of dialogue, and the vast majority of it does not get like any sort of like voice acting. Um, I'm not a voice actor. I can't really do voices that well. I can try. So if you want me to, let, if you want to let me know, uh, you want me you want to hear it, I mean, my horrendous voice acting and stuff. You just like let me know. I'll, I'll probably do it. If not, then I'll just probably do whatever. Um, but to get back to the conversation, I am close to, now to true death, restless one. It will not be long before I pass beyond the eternal boundary and find the peace I have been seeking. I tire of this mortal sphere. The plains hold no more wonders for one such as I. The boundary between the shadow of life and true death. And I'm not going to do this. Uh, you can, if you want to, you can read it. I'm not going to do every voice line because this is... You have to actually go through this in order to actually be able to join the Dust Man faction. Um, this is where the dead are brought to the EB and turned or cremated. It is our responsibility as Dustman to care for the dead. Those who have left the shadow of life and walked the path to true death. Your wounds must have extracted a very heavy toll if you do not recognize this place. It was almost your home. And if you want to know about the Dustmen, this is what you want. We Dustmen are a faction, a gathering of those that recognize the illusion of this life. We await the next life and help others on their journey. Now, if you actually wanted to, you could have talked to Mort about the Dustmen about any of the factions, really. Because, I mean, the Planescape Torment in the greater essence is regulated by factions, and dust the Dustmen are one of them. Um, and if you want to, we can go back and look to Mortuary. Update my journal. Sigil is our fair city, Restless One, which is where the, these fa he, the, the Dustmen are a faction thereof. Yes, the wounds okay, that decorate your body. They look as if they would have sent a lesser man along the path of true death. Yet it seems as if many of them have healed already. He coughs violently for a moment and steadies himself. But those are only the surface wounds. What do you mean? And I'm fairly sure this, this, this key unlocks this door. And it does not. I knew it unlocks one of these doors. What is key unlock then? I forget. Hmm. What's the hold up? What's the hold up? 